Hello everybody and welcome to another Palmade review. So the Palmade that we're going to be looking at today is Dashu Original. So this is actually the most popular gel type water base from South Korea. And I picked it up on Hedgeline because I was kind of interested by it. And I actually originally thought it was a cool grease pomade, but obviously it's not. It's from South Korea. And so let's get into the pomade. So twist up and on the inside it's kind of this weird orangish kind of color. And the scent I get is an artificial grapefruit. Uh, and the scent does go away in the hair so you can really hardly smell it. So anyway, uh, pomade scoops out pretty thick actually um, and kind of felt like a not as um, a not as thick version of the Tremolo's water base. And still when you apply it in your hands, it feels pretty thick. Uh, and definitely when you do it in the hair as well, it gives a bit of tug and pull. Um, as it is, you know, because, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because this stuff is, for how thick it is, you'd expect it to be like, oh wow, real heavy hold, but really it's not. It's more of a, more of a kind of medium, you know, it's, the way I see it is it's kind of like if the Tremolo's water base was a true medium, but that's only in the initial application of it. And you know, as far as resistance goes, it, it performs pretty different, but straight up just application uh, feels like a medium version of the Tremolos, just as far as application goes. So pomade is, I just put three scoops of my hair, just average. So pomade is all in there. And then right now is when you can kind of smell the um, grip percent, but like I said, it goes away. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice that it has, I was like, I was thinking to myself, wow, pretty good shine uh, for a gel type water base. I was thinking, once again, oh, this is going to be like cool grease, but unfortunately, uh, the shine does go away, which is a bit of a disappointment, but yeah, you come through and, you know, it's kind of odd, uh, once again, kind of odd that, you know, when you come through, it's not as thick as it is when you originally applied it, which is... I don't know if I like that, but you know, because it's this is when kind of the hold of it kind of was getting discouraging to me. And it's freaking hot in my bathroom. Blech. But anyway, yeah, um, when you you know are styling it in your hair, and when you finally feel the the true essence of the product, you could say it really isn't that impressive you know it it feels more like a like a slightly stickier version of a an American factory made water base like Lairite, Suavecito, etc. and yeah I wasn't just generally wasn't too impressed with this product which is surprising to me that it's you know most popular gel type water base in South Korea but then again you think what's the most popular gel type water base here in America and that Suavecito and that stuff is awful so anyway, you know, it's just, I just wasn't overall impressed with this stuff because, you know, the way that it styles, you know, I, I will give it that I can get a pretty good pump with this stuff. You know, I, I go in, the way that it actually performs and goes in my hair is not bad. But what kills it for me, the, the weakest part of this product is that the resistance is very bad, you know, because... I, it starts off and has, wow, good shine, and then the shine dulls down really, really low. You know, and then you'll have all of this um, great height going on, but then you will get some uh, kind of, or at least I did some sagging along with it, and it's just not really doing it for me as far as water bases go because, you know, and like I've said with previous posts that I've made and in previous videos, if this product was available here in America like two, three years ago, it would have been amazing. But with homebrew water bases and with, um, you know, I think cool grease is a lot better, it just doesn't hold up. And it's not that impressive now in the modern day pomade industry just because of the way that it has very, very poor resistance. So I think that is where this product really fails. So with that said, final verdict on Dashu Original. Um, you know, I personally just think that there are a lot better water bases. And 
yeah, it's just really because this stuff, it, it, I honestly liked it up until I found out how poorly it reacted to the elements, you could say. Because it styles pretty nice, you know, it's unfortunately not as thick as it is when you apply as it is when styling it in the hair, but yeah, it's just when I got out in some heat and along with just the shine going away and stuff like that, it really was a disappointment. But I do have to say where this product does do a good job as far as if you're just going to look at it as a gel type water base, it dry combs very well. And you can get a uh, dry combing with it that does, uh, it, it does a good job at dry combing. So where I put this product is I put it above American factory made water bases like Layrite, Suavecito, you know, right above those. But I would not put it over Cool Grease, I would not put it over homebrew water bases. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle. So it's, it's an okay water base. So uh, with that said, there you have it, Dashu Original.